Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Duke Nukem Time to Kill. I'll be doing the last level, Moloch the Gatekeeper. Um, this is the last boss, and it's the fourth Roman level. Moloch is armed with um, two laser Gatling guns that are fused onto his arms, and they really hurt on Death Wish mode. They even hurt a lot on um, Wussy mode. And he's really accurate. Scattered around the level are also those necrobrain larval egg things which explode. Um, so you have to get rid of all of them really. Moloch the Gatekeeper, Death Wish, 197 health and 16 armour. Let's settle this once and for all. Yeah, um... The arena is pretty much like a big square. Um, on three of the sides are rooms with things in, and in front of each one is um, a teleporter which will transport you to the other end of the arena. On one of the sides is no room because there's a balcony which is above. The way to get to the balcony is via one of the rooms. I think it's on the uh, on the one that's uh, the one that has the entrance to the balcony is on the right of me, and the balcony itself is opposite me on the other end of the arena. It's best to go and use the balcony to kill him because he's uh, he's really tough to beat without it. Yeah, but it is possible. I've done it before. Yeah, so um, the first thing we have to do is get rid of most of the eggs around because when you run past them, he 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 does shoot them, and they'll uh, hurt a lot if you uh, if you get hit with the explosion. Shoot the ones behind. Flame throwing here that I don't need. RPG ammo there if you want it. If you can get it. there, I just want to get rid of, I'll have to run through it, here we go, yeah luckily it didn't hurt me, hide behind here, shoot the eggs in here, and go, that's it, med kit in there if you want it, another egg, shoot uh, these eggs, There's some pipe bombs there as well. Yeah, some pipe bomb, some pipe bombs there, which are handy. Okay, let's go for the pipe bombs and get that egg. You might shoot it as you go past. Here we go. Okay, the balcony is just. Uh, balcony is just above me, so we'll go there in just a sec. There he is. Let's go to the uh, other place then. Go in here. That's it. Get the laser Gatling gun. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's managed to find me. Use some med kit. I feel good. You can get him with that if you want. Wow. 
Normally what I do in the level is just um, jetpack immediately up to the balcony and then get him like that. I've only lost a load of health because I've uh, because I wanted to show you the uh, all the other things around the arena. Normally I don't bother. But the crossbow is quite good on him. Sometimes he moves around, other times he will just sit there and take it. Yeah, he's moving around today, which is a bit awkward, because sometimes he will just sit there and take all the, all the damage you give him. Yeah, he starts to smoke when he loses health. You don't have to use RPG on him and stuff. You can use the explosive eggs to advantage if they're down there, but they really are uh, quite useless, really. They hardly hurt them. And because they're so close together, once you, once you explode one of them, the rest of them go as well, and that's it. It's been quite awkward today. There's some shooting through the RPG. Use these on him. I think they're useless. They don't get any health down. old buffalo rifle. Well, this does hurt him, but only once every two shots. Yeah, I was taking a notch off. Freeze is useless. Although it will get the eggs if you see one. Yeah, so I'll try it on here. See, that will explode it. And I never froze Duke. That's what happens. Uh, just don't jump if you do that, otherwise you'll um, you'll die instantly. Pipe bombs. RPG. Brilliant. He's moved again. Oh, it burned him. That's new. Whoa, dude. What a trip! Yeah, the screen can't follow. He doesn't normally say that, it's only because I went in the f in the uh, the teleport that he says that whoa dude thing. Uh, it took me seven minutes and nine seconds. Um, Twenty two continues remaining, and one enemy uh, were killed. One enemy was killed, rather. Um, yep, here's the ending sequence. Bite me, man. Ooh.
Ooh, do that again. You only get that if you do the game on Death hey, Wish. That was fun. That's a little bonus you get for doing it on the hardest level. Now this song sounds a lot like uh, Refuse Resist by Sepultura on their Chaos AD album. Yeah, on the Chaos AD album by Sepultura. The first song, Refuse Resist. I think they're a Brazilian thrash band. I think the the chess set is uh, mentioned in Game FAQs as being um, um, like a the missing secret from the um, from the uh, from the Family Jewels level, but there's no evidence for that. Yeah, the, it shows a chess set in the credits there. I think these are outtakes um, by John St. John, the voice artist for Duke. Still says Laura instead of Lara. Just like a hot knife through butter. Take that and that. How about some of this and that? And try a little this. <laughs> Ooh, and I thought cigars smelled bad. Looks like this one's history. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you some of the cheats, but the, the ROM or emulator always seems to crash at this point, so I'm just going to stop the emulator and uh, pause the video, then uh, unpause it with, uh, with the restarted emulator and show you the cheats. Here we go. I've loaded the emulator again, I'll just show you the cheats. To put the cheats in, you have to put various button combinations in while the game's paused. Yeah, notice it says one player, two player, load and options there. Just put a new game in, wussy. Just the easiest level. Looks like it's time to kill. Okay, the first cheat is for level select. Can't really show you this one properly because if I quit the game and return to main menu, which it requires, the game crashes. So I'll just show you that it works, but um. Uh, I won't be able to uh, just show you it. You know, I won't be able to test it out. 
um, it just puts another option underneath one player, two player load gaming options. It puts another option on the underneath that which says time to kill. If you highlight it and press left and right, you scroll through all the levels, um, one after the other, including the bosses and the challenge levels. Okay, so this is for level select. It's down nine times and up. And there we go. Level select enabled, uh, and uh, and you can disable it as well. Oh no, it just enables it again. Um, some you can disable by, by putting the same code in. Uh, this one's for temporary invincibility. R1, L2, L1, L2, R1, L1, R1, L2, L1, L2. There we go, invulnerability. That's the one with, uh, yeah, that f makes you go white, so that's like picking up an icon. Okay, the next one is for proper invulnerability. That doesn't run out, although it doesn't make you go white. L2, R1, L1, R2, up, down, up, down, select, select. There we go. That's the permanent one. So this, the white one will, will, will run out, but I'll still be invincible when it does. Yeah, that actually says Gator Bait. I forgot to read that on the first level. Gator Bait sunscreen with a female alligator on it. Yeah, so it's run out, but I'm still invincible because I have the permanent one on. Um, okay, this one's for unlimited continues. It's not really unlimited, it just gives you 99. Left, right, up, left, right, down, left, right, L1, R1. There we are, 99 continues. Let's get loads of enemies. My home away from home. Well, just a minute. Um, okay, let's get another cheat first. This one's for invisibility. L1, R1, L1, R1, L1, R1, L1, R1, L1, R1. There we go. I'm invisible now. And this one's for unlimited ammunition. Left, right, left, right, select. Left, right, left, right, select. Unlimited am ammunition. Um, for the uh, the one weapon that I have. Okay, uh, let's get another cheetah. This one's for all weapons. L1, L2 up, L1, L2 down, R1 right, R2 left. Yep, there we go. Now we have the uh, all the weapons. So I even have the uh, energy weapon and the 400 Gatling gun again. This is quite amusing. Flaming the the Time babes. To turn up the heat. Look how she tries to roll. I oh know. Sometimes she tries to roll. Uh oh, that's gonna cause trouble. <laughs> Rolls off the off the platform. Uh, look at them all. Just roll roll himself out. <laughs> yeah, being invulnerable doesn't stop your armor from going down. Another cheating. This one's for the powered up weapons. Um, R1, R2, L2, L1, R1, R2, L2, L1, select twice. There we go. Sometimes that won't work, but it has this time. You can also put these cheats in, by the way, on the two player game. And I think if you put the all the powerful weapons in, powered up weapons in on the two player, only the super shotgun and super eagle work. The other powered up weapons don't. Now I have the uh, high temp flamethrower. Burn. Okay, another cheat then. 
double duke. There we go, that's just L2, R2, five times in succession. So, L2, R2, L2, R2, etc., five times. Um, yep, that's that. Can't burn that. Or oh, you can burn the tree, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> he rolled himself off. There was one up there. Um, get another cheat then. This one's for all items. R15, L25. There we are. All inventory. So the jetpack as well. Show you how you can use a jetpack to burn enemies. There we go, got him. I'd like to see this woman roll. Damn, I need to check my aim. <laughs> Rolling with a whip. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that really is quite funny. Don't think you can burn that, no. Burning stuff is some of the the, the funnest thing you can do in this game, really. <laughs> all right. This one's for all keys. Up, right, up, left, down, up, right, left, right, down. Yep, there we go. And we also get the uh, the crystals as well. So subway security key, transport room ID, and all the crystals. Even though you already have the crystal, uh, the the key, I think you can still get the key from the enemy. Yeah, because it it doesn't intend you to get it twice. It didn't put a thing in saying you can't get it twice. Who's shooting now? Oh, him. I'll save him for later. Okay. Um, okay, just uh, yeah, a few more cheats to put in for these enemies. Just a second. This one's for Big Head Duke. There we go. Huge head. Looks a bit weird. Um, and then uh, Small Head Duke as well. That's just R19 times and up or down to change the head. And then again. They are tiny head duke now. Looks like he has no head at all, but it is there, you can just see it. See? Um Okay, this one's for big head opponents. They are he has a big head now. Let's watch him roll. Go on, roll for me. <laughs> Oh, that never gets old. Right. Let's have a look in the mirror. Ooh, I make this look good. He has a very small head. Normal head. Big head. Look at him, looks a bit like um, Beavis and Butthead, him standing like that with a big head. Well, well, just Beavis. Hey, what can I say? Okay, let's open the uh, the dressing room place. Still has a big head. Okay, let's make it small. Yeah, that one's a bit um, dodgy. Now there is an alternative cheat to put in to make the the enemy head small. 
R1 three times, L1 three times, R2 three times, then right. No, it hasn't worked. There we go, normal head enemy. Looks really small now compared to Duke's big head. It reflects his personality, I think. They are a tiny head enemy. And let's watch him roll. <laughs> oh dear. That really doesn't get old. Can't destroy that. Might be able to blow it up though. Let's try a uh, RPGing it. There we go. You skanky outfit. And it's indestructible. I can't run out of jetpack either. No, I can't get through there. Can you get through on the other way around? I want to watch uh, the, the Drax roll. They have small heads, if you notice. Gonna roll for me? Yeah, there we go. Uh. Oh, that one rolled. Time to get things moving. There are also some cheats for the uh, for getting the credits up, the intro sequence, the ending sequence, and the uh, the kilt sequence as well. But uh, I can't get those ones. Well, I can get them to work, but I can't be bothered to show you them because I've already shown you the, uh, the those sequences. But they do work. I'll just show you the train actually. All aboard. You can go in front of it and this happens. And it really hurts. And then we're inside the train. But we can't go back in it. Just for old time's sake. We can leave now, actually. Because we have all the crystals already. No need to bother with that nonsense. Hmm. Wonder what makes this thing tick. Here goes nothing. Time flies when you're kicking ass. Let's go to the next level and show you the... I just want to see the other women rolling. There's a new sheriff in town. Oh, he has a big cowboy hat as well. try to put themselves out. Doesn't work. I'm sure it's absolutely horrific being burnt to death, but it but it, it, it is quite funny in this game. I thought there was something here. Oh this one won't burn, will she, because she's in a bath. 
but she does have a very small head. Damn, I need to check my aim. Her bath's melting. Okay, let's go into Madame Zookie's. Lag there. The smell of bacon in the morning. The best things in life never change. Oh, that's going to cause trouble. <laughs> Check my aim. Damn, I need to check my aim. <laughs> Putting themselves. Uh. See, any time you'll ever see um, um, that being said about the throwing knives, because there isn't enough in the game to uh, to say that. Anyway, that'll do. I've shown you everything now. Yeah, so thanks for watching uh, Duke Nukem Time to Kill. Next videos will probably be uh, Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.